<laughs> Yo, guys! <laughs> Welcome back to the video! <laughs> <laughs> what a colorful video, dude. I love our colors. We need to keep all, of, you need to keep yours red. Is that your plan? Yeah, unless I wrap it white. This is actually part two. Part two? Of Battle of the Builds. Of Battle of the Builds. Oh, that is, the and comments? Someone said they were excited about dude. the Battle of the Builds. Welcome to the build that's Welcome. about to get this battle started. <laughs> oh, this one right here! Whoa. Yeah! <laughs> Okay, let's first talk about all the good things about this car. Wait, before we get into... <laughs> Go ahead, game. Before we get into good things and bad things, let's talk about the story. Because it is a cool story. It is, it is a... It's a very normal one. I no, it's like, not a very normal one. I feel like that's normal. I bought it from a Honda guy. One whole year ago... Oh, okay, yeah, yeah that part. <laughs> I forgot. I didn't even know his own story. It's his story. <laughs> that's oh, the reason. I told you, though. Okay, one whole year ago, I was looking for an EK and a beautiful Midori Green EK hatchback popped up in Boise, Idaho, and I was gonna fly all the way up there, buy it, and drive it back like eight or something hours. Do you hours. now I know that we live near Boise, Idaho? <laughs> <laughs> if you know, you know. Now I know we live within nine hours of Boise. <laughs> when I was negotiating with the guy, he was like, hey, I'm actually selling it to someone else, and like I got sold right out from underneath me, and it was from a dude that lived in my same town, and I was like, bro, what are the odds? Then, a whole year later, Luke is looking for a daily, so he doesn't have to drive his E36 M3 around. And that's where it transfers to me. <laughs> Go ahead. What did you want? You wanted an Integra? I wanted an Integra. I wanted Miata or an E30 for a while because I wanted something rear wheel drive. And I love Miatas and I love Beamers. But then, you know, Miata's prices are horrible right now. And also Beamers, not the best daily in the world. And I was convinced by this man to think that too. Anyways, then I started thinking Johanna boys because Eason just came into our lives. Honda boy, Honda boy, and he's been getting EKs for a while, and then now he finally got an EG, so I was thinking, you know, things on my list, EK, CRX, or an Integra. And EK was honestly, it was like number three. I was like, yeah, maybe EK. Yeah. But then like the perfect one just popped up. The Midori Green, it's back, baby, in our town. I don't have to drive miles and miles and hours. So I know, that's so nice that you picked it up. In in our town, like you a five minute to, drive. Yeah, and yeah. I'm like, hey, thanks. And it dude. was like the day you decided to take it seriously. Like, so I actually have the money now. And you're like, let's just check. Oh wow, a perfect one for a great deal. I'm like, I posted a half hour ago. Okay. Done. I was not gonna lie. Like, I took a video of us picking it up, which we'll show. And like, I was like, I have to hide that from them. Which we'll show. Ooh. <laughs> you guys can't know that we're gonna show it. But we're gonna show it to Whoa. you. <laughs> <laughs> I was jealous. Okay, but I'm not now. Okay, so we're all good. So it's pretty. Exciting, because I saw it and I'm like, dude, this looks pretty clean. I'm like, for EK hatch, not collapsed, stock wheels. I'm like, this green, I'm gonna be honest, I'm a, I'm kind of a Honda noob. That's my first Honda. And so I saw in the green and I was like, yeah, okay, green, Maybe worst case scenario, I can wrap it. I'm like, you couldn't really tell a lot from pictures also. It was just like iPhone pictures. So then I'm went and showed up and, I'm, and I just see the green. I'm like, okay, this green, it's sick looking. This is way pretty. And then start driving around literally feels like it's 50,000 original miles. It's insane. It's so mint. So, obviously the headlights need to go, but we'll go on. So this is apparently an SIR front bumper. <laughs> or you know. So, paint's in really good condition. You know, there's the uh, occasional little flaky there and thing here and dent there. Stock steelies, which is kind of funny. I mean, they're 13 by fives. So that's just, it's funny. It looks like a little inches. toy car. Now, let's get a view of that. This gorgeous masterpiece. That is the original pinstriping from the dealership, I think. Did that? I think it was like a dealer, like, promotion yeah. thing. So it has the original dealership Honda pinstriping on both sides. Now, here's the thing. Here's the reason why this guy got it, or got rid of it, because of this. A bit of a quarter panel damage. So that's something we're gonna have to, I don't know, pull out and then try to, I don't wanna fill it, but it needs to happen. I mean, quarter panels is just how life is. Yeah, I'm not excited about it, but that's the way it is. Pre, um, pre uh, tinted. Pre, <laughs> that's also something. I'm like, tint, any kind of speaker setup, things like that are things I'm like, I don't wanna spend money on and it'd be really nice to buy a car that already has that stuff done to it. Because it's like something that you kind of need a little bit, like especially tint. Like you need to you tint your car. Something. But I'm like, then when I saw it, I'm like, bro, basically got like limo tint back here, and then just like 
dark enough tint in the front. Oh, that's nice. So, um, <laughs> the interior is beyond mint. It is perfect. Minty. What's nice about a Midori Green hatch is it was only during the 96 year that it came out and it's, it's pretty rare. Now I tried to look up production numbers for it and like you can't really find info on that, but it's freaking rare. So I'm if like, you guys know, maybe you can Yeah, if anyone out it. there like, cause it'd be cool to know how many of these 96 EK hatches that are in Midori Green and possibly if like, if there's even a number of which ones have pinstriping. I've been searching for hatchback civics for like a year straight, just off and on. And like, I've never seen a Midori Green for sale, let alone one this clean and with pinstriping. So like for him to like, just cop it, like, hey, I just woke up one what day and got this. I'm like, dude. Yo. <laughs> Minty. <laughs> Dang, this thing is like brand new. Wow. Brand spanking move. Move, move. <laughs> yeah, honestly, everything about it. On the interior, there is nothing I could find that I'm like, okay, we need to fix that. Maybe like, okay. <laughs> you, you, you can find some. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> Stop looking. Yeah, he's like, let me just come look at the. Uh... Well, check out the freaking. I don't even know oh. if this is like. I don't know if that's original. the original. Yeah. Kind of dealership badge. Or just like a used dealership. That's kind of like... sick that that's there. And then the fact that that's like in mint shape, and then also that these work, and then also this is clean, and then also. If I open this up, has the original spare with the tools. Bruh, come on. And no rust. So I've already lifted it up and looked underneath. Zero rust of any kind. Like, I don't know why, because it's in Boise and there's a lot of snow in Boise, right? But it's clean, it's clean. I feel like we should show them the engine bay though. Let's but show yeah. them the engine bay, Clemens. it's clean. <laughs> Dang, right. dude, we should get hydraulics for our hoods. Yeah. Oh. A little crunchy crunch. <laughs> So brand new battery, so that's sick. But um, no, no, no cold air intake. That's actually a hot air intake because they do it crappily. Clean. AC works. No power steering, manual steering rack. Yeah. Stock D16Y7, 170,000 miles. We're talking 1.6 liter, single overhead cam, pushing 90 horsepower. It's, I couldn't ask for more. I mean, hey, for you can good. do burnouts. You can do, you can do burnouts. A play clip. Play the clip. <laughs> play, we're gonna play. We're, gonna, we're probably going to show them. Don't tell them. <laughs> Don't tell the viewers. <laughs> Honestly, I, I couldn't ask for anything better because, I don't know, it's always fun to find a really stock car and also something this rare. The plans are... It's an amazing... It's just... Ba it, what, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> I was going to say, is, uh, um... Dang, man. Oh, completely thrown I'm off so my train of thought. Interrupted you to tell us that, dude. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. I'm wait a minute, wait a minute. I got it. <laughs> you just, oh, 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 oh. It's such an amazing addition to the Motor Kings collection. Yes. Some of you don't understand that we say that, and it might be taken uh, lightly. No, when we say that we're building two brothers building a dream collection, we we mean it. All right. Yeah, like we're dream collection building, like ownership of multiple vehicles to having a fleet. It takes a certain kind of car enthusiast to kind of know that like at every price range, there's a car that basically everybody respects. I think that Civic Si, e.g. S2000, hey, AP1 gang, AP1 gang. EK hatch. Midori Green EK hatch. The thing about what we want in our collection though, I feel like some dudes collections that we see on like YouTube or TikTok, whatever, Porsche GT3 RS, Lamborghini Huracan, Bugatti, I'm like, it's all just like the, the freaking you can have more bling. cookie cutter. Yeah, yeah, it's a, a, a Supra, uh, an R34, uh, FDRX7. I'm like, yeah, we get it. Those cars are cool. I'm like, I want to taste them one day. <laughs> I feel happier seeing, essentially, if one of these pass on the street, I'd be happier seeing one of those than if I saw a Huracan pass. Like, I get just as excited when I'm like, yo, an R8, when I'm like, oh, an EG hatch. Like, yeah, the same equal excitement. And I think some might call that. I don't know, a broke mentality or childish or whatever you want to call it. But I just think it's something that taste. we, yeah, it's taste and it's, it's, taste. it's truly understanding like there's art to everything. So that's what we see in this. That's what we see in all of our cars that we purchase. And I also feel like most, most car influencers are yeah, very yeah. like niche. 
Yeah. Like they, they got niche car collections. Like you got the Japanese, the JDM, who only have JDM cars. Yeah. You got these BMW specialists who only have BMWs. You got these Andrew Tate with the Bugattis. Her well, cars. that's actually yeah, that's actually fact because style, yeah. there's also you know just as like there's people that like influencers that have just Lamborghinis, Bugattis, and stuff. There's also the guys that are like JDM only, Mark IV Supra, R32, R34. R35, and that's like their collection. I'm well, like, then you got the slammy, drifty boys that it's like, and I've never really been on this side of JDM. I love JDM, like obviously, I like like Honda and Supers and stuff. But like, there's a side that it's like 240s, SRTs, kooky front end. Like that's all they like. They're like, oh, 80s chaser, slam dunk chrome Chris wheels. Like, a, yeah, all I don't different kinds of like luxury 80s Japanese. Not saying those are bad, but it's like it's almost like that's the only thing they respect. Yeah. And it's the only car they like. And I think it's going to be cool to be able to have all aspects, all the infinity stones in our collection. <laughs> the gauntlet. Um, no, but honestly, like, I've never really been into that side of JDM. And I'm just like, I don't know. Maybe I will one day. I'll understand, like, the, the hype of a 240. I love, I'm purely JDM, actually. Really? I love JDM. He's going to, we're going to transform him. JDM is, I, I do like BMW. I don't know as much about BMW, but we'll JDM you. is my stuff. That's good, that's good. I do love it. So what's your next car in your collection? Next car? I'm actually thinking of a four-door E30. Whoa, really? Really? Yeah. But okay, also you've been thinking right. about an RX-7, right? I have. An FC? FC, yeah. Ooh. So initial D, red sun on the side, white, championship white, RX-7 FC. Yo, that'd be sick and nasty, bro. Those are just Party dubs. Because you guys have Hondas, and then you kind of have a BMW, and then he's got a BMW. <laughs> I have a Honda and a BMW. Yo, that'd be sick. Dude, that one is by like, one. But like I said, versatility. <laughs> Vers the F FCR Versatility. Would give a, would be a little more versatile in the collection. True, true, true. FC? Yeah. I really feel like that the E30 would be more versatile. But you guys already have BMWs. No, it's true. We would, we, have we would add, add, we would add, add Oh, okay, so you're saying now, now we're rolling remodels. Yeah, exactly. Dude, uh, that's another like hot take from another time. My opinion on rotaries. He hates rotaries because he doesn't understand them. That's all it means. Uh, it doesn't, I don't know if that. <laughs> I'm not sure. If that's <laughs> he doesn't understand. He doesn't like it. Canceled. Canceled. Just like the next canceled. episode, I'm just like off the channel. Awesome. <laughs> Welcome back to Motor Kings. You don't like the sound of rotary at all. I, I I'm okay with the sound of rotary. I think sometimes it's a little tinny. <laughs> I just That's not what Tinny means, Gabe. Look, I've listened to a four rotor before and it's not all that good. <laughs> I think the rotor Cancel this man! Cancel. The reason is, is I'm like, there are two cars! Battle of the Brothers. There are three cars that have Battle of the Brothers. There are three cars that have a rotary. And I'm gonna go and like spend the time FDFC RX8. He did name them. <laughs> Honestly, I'm just like, I'm gonna learn all this stuff about a whole different type of engine for those three cars that I'm like, the only one I'm half interested in is an RX7. I'd probably engine swap it. Dude, that was like really. <laughs> <laughs> you need an engine swap. You get. I can't believe you just said you'd He's engine an swap. He's an LS like swap. That, Whoa! I don't know if I'd LS swap. K24 swap, baby! Uh, I feel like but that's dude. like one of the things that made the RX7. Cool, yeah. Is the. the no, the look. The no, it's not. The FD, I guess. Well, the no, FD. but the FD's yeah, rotary also made the. Oh, I hate RX8s. I think they're ugly. Yeah. If you're driving an RX8, don't. FD RX7s are not just popular because they They're look good. Popular. They look amazing. They sound amazing. And they have been able to be built to amazing things, okay, Gabe? This, every every engine's been built to amazing things. The only one I'll swap, the only swap I'll approve on is a Pagani engine like they did with that. That is pretty crazy. What if I swapped a fully built 1.8 liter Miata engine now keep it, keep the Mazda alive. Yeah. <laughs> <Bah>. <laughs> Refocusing back in on the EK. I'm gonna bring us back down to reality where we don't own RX-7s <laughs> and we don't have Pagani engines. Let's bring it back to the Midori Green Hatch. Let's bring us back up because we were now, thinking low. Think we're back up to the Midori Green Hatch. I think hatch. we talk about the cons real quick. We talk about the pros. We talk so about the cons. The it's more cons. A, just like I said, this was a pro. That's also a con because that is slow as frick. And you know, it's fun to have a little power when you throw it in the first gear. <laughs> so yes, I want to eventually be 18 something swap this, all right? So are we both gonna go B series swap or should one of us go K swap? I'm not gonna go K swap because I would have to do a whole lot of crap. So maybe I should go K swap eventually and you go B swap eventually. I like but that. I already have the B swap. You don't really, you don't care about high revving engines. No, I do. No, I think you do. The E46 M3 engine S54 goes up to 8,000 RPMs. 
And where is, where I is yours? <laughs> Fun fact about BMW. No, 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 I understand that. I understand that you probably appreciate them, <laughs> but I feel like I've always, that's always been something like, dude, and it revs up to this, but you've never really cared about this. You just really had, I think you assume a lot about what I care about, because what he talks about. Well, because you showed me the video of the B16 revving, and that's why they chose it over the K-Swap, and I was like, inspired. inspired. Okay, we can both have B series swaps, fine. But right now, this is pretty dang reliable, and also it gets me from point A to point B, so that's nice. So this, oh, that's these nice. look horrible. Horrid, they're yellow, they're leaking, they are chrome on the inside. So, some kind of new headlight, I'm not sure what to go with. Here's the main reason why I don't want my red taillights on here, because it looks like freaking Christmas, dude. Red and green. Like, that's a good point, I do see that, because like, I, I'm okay with front clears, I'm not okay with rear clears. I like the red pop. I don't like that. I think real clears are- He's sad. looking like McDonald's. I'm gonna look like free. I'm looking That's like Christmas. Awesome. And I just look all red. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? I might go clears in the taillights, but need new headlights, new wheels. I'm definitely gonna go eventually white spoons, people. You heard it here, folks. That's my dream wheel because it's <laughs> just <laughs> folks. gorgeous. I feel like- You heard it here. Just imagine white with the green. Mm. So nice coilovers, redo the suspension, make sure that's nice. I need to get this dent out, however I find it possible to do that. Um, when the wreck happened with the other guy, it shifted the hatch just a little bit. So this has a little bit of a gap right here. Type R wing, baby. Yeah. <laughs> so bucket seats, you know, classic build things. I'm gonna make this thing nice, something just like our friends at Donut say. Uh, a daily that you can also take to the track. That's what I want. Thanks for watching, people. Uh, I don't know what they're doing now. It's getting really dark and I'm cold. Oh, We've got sure. plenty of daylight in our entire lives. Take these to the track during the summer. Do is there a track nearby? Vegas. Whoa, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I, that, that's not near. <laughs> <laughs> that's, like quite a, that's kind of quite a drive, honestly. You have to drive pretty far, actually, <laughs> to get there. It's but like it's whole, the closest. A little inside joke with us now. <laughs> All right. No, we love you guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, Stay true, kings. We have no. <laughs> hey! I throw it up. Oh. I'm doing my way. Your way is. Dude, that's wrong, man. Actually, <laughs> sick. That look like an M. But this doesn't look good. That doesn't w look good. I, I mean, it doesn't, but it looks more like an M. Yeah, but that looks you cool. Asked me the wrong. Yeah, that one looks cooler. Yeah. Okay, all right, there we go. Oh, which one looks cooler, guys? Which one? Excuse me. Motor I'm Kings sorry. out. Sorry. Motor Kings out. We love subscribe. you, Kings. Subscribe, like. <laughs> subscribe, 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 subscribe. <laughs> That's got to be the outro for everyone. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs>